Hey guys, Audrey Calix here, and today we're going to review the game The Dungeon of Nahalbuk. So, this little game I started late last year, back in November, and to get into it, it's, it's really fun. It's campy. Pros of the game, I would say, would be that it is short, so there's lots of replayability uh, incentive. There's some, you know, Steam achievements to go for. Um, the dialogue between the party members were entertaining. Let's see, the combat. The combat was pretty unique. It's the first game where I encountered uh, that positioning uh, was important. So, I mean, in other RPGs, positioning is important, you know, like uh, line of sight or, you know, you want your tank in the front and, you know, your mages and your casters in the back. But so this game has that too, but it also plays into environment effect. For example, if there's a crate, a desk, you know, something, you know, that you can kind of take cover for, it'll be like a little uh, shield symbol and it'll show that you have some cover then so that uh, the enemy needs, mm, I don't want to get my words wrong, but the enemy needs more like, the enemy needs to be more accurate to hit you. There's a greater chance that they will miss you than if you were just standing out in the open. There's also um, a support icon. It's like two hands shaking. That one is if your party members are facing the same direction as you, then you get support from them. And you, uh, again, I don't want to get my words wrong, but, you know, it's... Uh, it helps, it's beneficial for you during the fight. There's other things in the environment, like there's traps that you can trigger, like on the ground, there's like, it looks like maybe acid traps or magic traps or something, and you, your party member just has to run over the trigger in order for it to go off. And of course, the triggers are usually on the enemy side, so they usually get to hit it first. Another unique aspect of the game is it allows you to choose which way you want to face. So you can face your opponent, um, the enemy, or you can face, you know, which, if, if there's a room full of enemies, you can decide which way you want to face. So if all the enemies on one side, it's easy, right? You just want to face in that direction. But uh, a lot of times, if the enemy is staggered and one of your guys comes into the middle, you kind of have to choose. You want to face this one or this one, and you have to be careful because if you're facing this way, then the enemy behind you can do a backstab. So it's important which way you face. And in the beginning, I didn't realize that you can that you're supposed to choose which direction you're gonna face. So here's me like I'm just clicking, and I'm like, why are you facing backwards? It's because user user error here. I I have to make sure I click and position my character to face, you know, in a, in a certain direction. So, that comes into play. Um, let's see, what else was there? The game is turn-based style. Um, so one of the cons I found, for me, for me personally, was I felt the combat, like it went along pretty smoothly, and then the combat part was really slow. Even though I, I went into the settings and I sped up the animations, and all that, I still found myself like spamming the space bar because it says like, in, you know, speed up enemy animations or something, actions. Uh, it still was a little bit slow for me, but I think I just felt pressured maybe for time. I don't think it's a big deal at all. I mean, it's just still part of, you know, the fun because you see the animations, they're, you know, going behind for cover or they have some quirky things to say. The camera also zooms in on them when they have like a critical hit, um, I think for a critical failure too, and when there's a kill shot. The story is fluff, but it's fine. It didn't detract it from it for me. It's like I said, just a quick, campy, funny little game. Uh, you're not playing it for the story, I guarantee you. You're just playing it for fun, and it is a lot of fun. You know, if I ever play it again, I want to target some achievements and you know I took the mm, I don't want to give away any spoilers but okay I'll just say like I, I would redo it just for the achievement hunt I, I feel like this is a game where you could 100% achievement hunt this so final verdict did I have fun playing the game yes would I recommend this game to others definitely it's short you 
it's really not you can't go wrong I think I am pretty sure I got it when it was on a deep sale so it's it's not it wasn't that expensive so there you have it guys that's my review on the dungeon of Nahuatl catch you later heart heart bye